Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another cold weather gear review on another cold southern night here in South Carolina. Like I've said on my previous videos, it's about 20 or so tonight, which is ridiculously cold here in the south. So I've been thinking about my cold weather preps and decided to uh, talk about things. Um, one of my primary preps here, and I've got some better stuff, but this is the Great Northern Camp Stove, or Collapsible Camp Stove, or Portable Camp Stove, or however the heck you may find it online. Uh, this thing is built like a tank, reasonably cheap. It's not going to heat your entire house. This is more of a camp stove. It's more for your tent, that sort of thing. But uh, you could probably use this to heat a small area of your house as long as you could find some way to uh, deflect all of the uh, exhaust outdoors. So that's going to be a little more work with this kit here. But enough of that. Uh, if I had to, I could use this outside. I have used this outside just for prepping. I've had this about a year and a half. Uh, have used it a few times outdoors. Just play around with. Just see how well it works because I've not had to absolutely use this thing yet. Uh, I don't have the entire kit shown here. Uh, this is just about everything though. Uh, the whole thing weighs about 20 pounds. So I would not say this thing's exactly packable uh, unless you had to pack it a very short way. Uh, otherwise it's going to do okay. Now I'm not going to show how to install this thing or how to pull it together but uh, here's the basics guys it's got four legs that are detachable with these little wing nut screws here uh, the legs come off the uh, the stack here comes off the backside there are six of these foot long smokestack pieces that all fit together so make it six foot tall if you needed to you don't have to make it that tall if you don't want to uh, they have two sections segments with these little hooks on them which are for tying down the entire apparatus in the stack with some rope or cordage, something like that, just to keep it from wobbling around. Uh, it's entirely made for uh, wood or other similar fuels, sawdust, cardboard, paper, anything you got like that. Um, let's see. Basics on it, like I said before, it's about 20 pounds. Uh, we're going to start here on the top and work our way down. You've got these little two adjustable carry handle slash top accessories here that act as a handle and carry it just fine there again 20 pounds don't know if I want to be carrying that in the bush too far but my backyard somewhere like that is fine this thing flops out I got these little tong style fingers here they flop here in the middle to give you a plate basically a flat surface to put a pot a percolate or something like that to uh, cook on, fry, you can put a frying pan on this just fine, uh, any number of things you put on this to cook, boil water, uh, any type of food prep type options. Now what's nice about this is you can flip it out, let me turn it here sideways so that maybe you can see that there. You flip this thing out and you get the tongs, the uh, tines rather, are pointing outwards. You can use this for drying your uh, clothing. So if you come in after a day out in the the woods or out in the snow. You got wet socks, you got wet clothing. You can throw that over this, keep it far enough away from the fire not to scorch the wool or the cotton, anything like that, not to damage it. But it's gonna hang far enough out, it's gonna dry things off. So that's a nice option. So you flip it in for cooking. Nice flat area there for pans, pots, etc. And out for drying. So that's a nice option. Now once you got something closed up, you can raise it like I said, for carrying. So that's very nice. Again, you got your four legs here. They're not exactly equal right now just because I threw this together in a hurry. Just to show you guys. Now, here you go. Got a little arm here that locks into place, which you probably can't see on the bed, that you open up, stack this bad boy with wood, etc. Um, wood would be the primary use for this. Cardboard, other things like that could be used. Um, when you close this thing up, You've got an adjustment here. Not sure if you can see that to control the amount of airflow inside. So very important. There's a screw here that you can adjust the tightness of that to tighten it down uh, once you get to where you want it to. Uh, there's also a similar adjustment, almost identical, here on the back side. Again, not so sure you can see that, but uh, this is a little higher friction or tension there um, if you need that. Again, this thing is great for about 80 bucks. Uh, 
your smokestack, if you will, here. It comes with eight of these little foot-long tubes that stack up on top of each other. You can stack them as high as you need to or want to, just depending. Uh, if you're using these in a, uh, a tent, something like that, which is what they're primarily designed for, you can stack it as high as you need. Now let me run the camera up here just a bit, just a hair, to the top. Uh, it's got a fire arrestor here in the little top segment that you can put on top of whatever height you choose. Don't know if you can actually see the spark arrestor in there. But uh, basically here's another one, another piece, just one of them. Um, they stack on top of each other like so. I'm not going to put it there, but uh, basically these things stack one on top of another as high as you want them to, to roughly six feet above the base here, which I'd say that's probably 18 inches high, give or take here at the top. Also comes with a little ash soot scraper here. Very simple, very basic, nothing tremendous, but uh, it'll get the job done in a pinch. But uh, for approximately... 80 bucks. I got this on Sportsman's Guide. This is a great little survival option to have around if you absolutely have to have it. If all hell breaks loose, you need to bug out. Uh, I would not bug out with this thing, carrying it, but uh, I certainly would bug out with this thing in a vehicle, something like that. Uh, this is going to be the best little camp cooking item you're going to have. Uh, yeah, your little Coleman stoves and butane stoves, all that propane stoves are going to be great in the short term, but eventually that's going to run out, so you're going to need a wood source. Uh, this thing is not going to heat your house by any means, but that's not what it's for. This is for heating a very small, confined area. And again, if you so chose, you could get some attachments to bend this out uh, for the fire and the smoke to uh, take it outside a window, something like that. You know, some 45 degree angles, uh, 145 degree angle, take it out, 145 degree angle back up again for the exhaust and if you could seal off your window sufficiently you could use this indoors. I've seen some videos online where people actually align this thing with their wood burning fireplace so that uh, all the exhaust and all that here goes up and out the the chimney. Uh, works great uh, from what I've seen. Again I've used this outside a few times. I have not used it for any kind of major bugging prepping type options but for 80 bucks I think it's a deal. The entire thing, all of these six tubes, the fire, spark arrestor, uh, everything else will fit inside the canister here, so in the legs as well. So basically all you're carrying around is this canister, which is, oh, I don't know, 14 inches long and maybe 10 inches or so in width. So 20 pounds, again, not something I want to carry for miles and miles and miles into the bush, but it does the job. Decent option for a very reasonable price at 80 bucks. Uh, are there some better options for more expensive? Yeah, probably. But for a wood burning option, if you don't already have a wood burning stove, this thing would be a great option. Especially if you've got plenty of wood around. If you're out in the country or something like that, and you need you need something that can burn wood effectively and more efficiently than say a, a fire pit, something like that, which is going to waste a lot of heat. Um, you can't really cook on that effectively. This thing will act just like a stove. You know, small area, not a tremendous amount, but for a small family, you'd be just fine. And again, the option to dry out your gear after a day, this thing would be tremendous for survival. As long as you know how to collect firewood and collect dry firewood. So, anyway, great northern portable camp stove. I recommend it for 80 bucks. You can't beat it for that. Nice to have around. I certainly hope I never have to use it. MD Prepper out.